We're live. We're back. Mike's just just Texas, scrolling. Texas his mum back. I yes, don't. Yes, I am okay. Don't I worry about spoke me. Spoke to my mum for a little while. That's actually, probably why she's worried about you, mate. You know? Yeah. Probably should. Should always text your mum all the time, as often as you can. Upfront payment of thirteen hundred, and then her partner heard me. Can I? Can I read it out for verbatim? I can't. Can I? No. 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 I'll change some words. Uh, <laughs> Two thousand six hundred banked off one call today. Wow. For how long, though? It's not yeah. today, though, is it? Two years worth of work, though, yeah. but whatever. It's <laughs> two clients for probably four to six months of work. So not today, is it? Uh, you know, that's fine. You get that a lot, don't you, in the mentor mentor space? A lot, a lot of money banked in one call. It's like, yeah, it's, but it's like you can also bank it like, in other ways. Yeah, exactly. Coach banks £6,000 in one day. Mm, no, though. It's like me saying, it's like it's like someone going for a job interview and getting the job and going, oh, I banked £32,000 today. Yeah, it? it's exactly <laughs> We that. have a 12-year contract You're working. 12 months, oh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, 12-month contract for yeah. a year. Yeah, it, it, that's exa- that that's is exactly what it is. That yeah. is exactly what it is. But yeah. obviously, shock, business mentors will... will yeah. cause I think I put something... I, I did put something up the other day. I've got a client you know, who I coach one-to-one. Every week. Sure. That's a different video. Um, <laughs> yeah, different. So go and watch the other one. Um, and he's gone from like five to 30 clients or something. And his average retention will be between like six and nine months. So, like, you could say, so I think I think his like um, monthly recurring revenue has gone up by something like about 4,000 or something like that, right? So you could go, well, let's just, let, let's just do what other people do and extrapolate it across, let's just say, six months. Hmm. You go, okay, I've increased my client's revenue by £24,000 then. Like, just say it then. Say that then. You... But you can't, because you can't guarantee it. Well, what happens if people drop well, off? Surely people don't make, surely people don't lie about the numbers they no, make. Surely not. Surely yeah. don't. Yeah. Surely they don't. Yeah. Is it one million or two million? Or three? Or, or is it what? One and a half? it? You know? 30? Well, so make it sound bigger. Yeah, just bigger. Bigger all, all the time. You know. um, today we're going to talk about mentoring in general, the space. Um, we're done a mic. You need to do that, don't you? We are done a mic. There you go. And yeah, anyway, so there we go. Well, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. That's yeah. It. yeah, we're done a they mic. We already know we're too big. Yeah. We're like seal. The big we just <laughs> need the name, <laughs> the name. And they already know who we are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are done a mic. We're here to help you with your online fitness business yeah. you don't get screwed over by some of these fucking mentors that are out there number one and number two to give you as much help as possible for free because we're nice like that yeah and it worked for us so we're like passing on the knowledge yeah um, I, I haven't done my Stephen Bartlett bit where it's like yeah. the, I can do this I'm dressed like him actually today you chain are. black black thing yeah. just start to sell everything though yeah. um, where's your Huel yeah, in it, yeah. Desk. you see uh, you know this mug you know, I very rarely ever use mugs, but if I was ever to use a mug, it would be this one. Yeah. You see these chains that I'm wearing? Uh, they're from, yeah. uh, you know, somewhere that Some company that he invests in. Yeah, yeah shock horror. Yeah. Um, yeah, tell people, basically. Just tell everyone about basically, it. Basically, tell people for yeah, us. Yeah, it's hard enough as it is to try and grow it. Tell other online tell coaches. Everyone. Yeah, that'd help. Um, but yeah, like in the mentoring space, and it's interesting because I had a, a new client sign up uh, this week with the uh, with our one to one coaching that we do every week with our. That's the clients. other video. Yeah, the other sorry, one. I can't yeah. can't stop saying it. Yeah, no. yeah the one to one check in. Every week. Um, she texted me, she texted me this week and actually I got back to her as well straight away. Oh what on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the WhatsApp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. On the WhatsApp, group, she, got, she, got, no, she got my number, so she just WhatsApp me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why yeah. she does videos every week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and video. Video check ins. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you yeah. tracking yeah. metrics and data with her? Well, obviously, yeah, obviously. Oh, that's quite. Why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. Why wouldn't you do Why that? Why wouldn't you do that? Correct, yeah. um, and it's interesting because she's been part of two other mentors, uh, mentorships before. <sighs> pew, pew. Um, shots fired. Yeah, shots fired. And it was interesting because on the call she said to me that she doesn't really want another mentorship. She just wants like a sounding board. And I thought it was perf- It perfectly summed up what we do. And why we're different to other things that are out there and all this sort of stuff. Because she said what she doesn't want is to just be put through someone else's system or blueprint of like, you must do this. And, every- and like everyone's doing the same thing. And like, I think it's really important to know that there are principles within what we do and what we talk about. But because it is one to one every every week, <laughs> every week. is one to one. And and but I've also had another client a, a week before that who had a, we had our first call with on the weekly update. On the weekly update, not yeah. every week though. Well, yeah, it's every week. It's a okay, weekly yeah, update. Week. Um, 
And she and and again, I advise I advised her to do something completely different that I normally advise other people to do because for her niche and her demographic, it's it's the right thing to do. Uh, and we discussed it back and forth. We had a, a discussion around she knows her community and niche better than I do. So I said I would assume this about your niche. That's correct. You assumed correctly. Um, I assume they don't want to do this. I assume that cost could be this problem for them. I assume this. I assume that. And we had a really good discussion back and forth. And it was the same with this new client that was taken on. We had a discussion around where they're at, and and she just said like I don't want. A, like a blueprint. I don't want to go week one, week two, month one, module one, module two, and just go through the same shit. She's like, I just want someone to talk to about where I'm at and where I'm heading and guide me through it and just be a sounding board with ideas and suggestions. And it really hit home to me because like that's exactly what we do compared to, to the other things. And why those other things are useful to a certain degree. If you don't know where to start, there is benefit to having module one, module two, like and a systemized approach to things, which we do have, like if we need we it. We do do that as well. We do that as well for the right people. But again, it comes down to when someone comes to us. The right people. Uh, well, where you don't just, if someone comes to us and they've got 70 clients, I'm not just going to put them at right, module one, here's how to use Instagram. This person yeah. knows 30,000 30, followers, they know how to use Instagram, yeah. right? It's the messaging, it's understanding their niche. And then it's, well, how do you then present like your offer? Do you use an email list properly? Like all that sort of stuff. And it was just, it was really interesting because I wouldn't want anyone watching this to think, oh, I bet they just run through the same shit, module one, module two, you know, like the same things. And it's like, it's the reason why we have the weekly live calls that we do that are just each week they change based on certain things. And you can watch back through the old ones that may be relevant to you. And we get new clients join and we're like, maybe watch this video first because it's actually relevant to you right now. But not everyone does that. And not everyone watches the same video. Not everyone goes through the same things. And not everyone finds benefit from the same things in our in our sort of offering, as it were, some people take certain aspects of it. They take more from that, more from the social media stuff, more from the actual coaching side of things. And it was just really interesting because to me and you, it would just come naturally to be like, well, let's just see where your starting point is and then we'll mm -hmm. go from there. But people don't. But it, and that's a tragedy. And that's a tragedy. So that um, it, it's like if you get a fat loss and, uh, and uh, you know, new, new nutrition and training client, you wouldn't put them on the same thing because, well, they're different. Are they male, female? What do they want to achieve? What's that going to do then? Well, nothing these days. Not, it, nothing. It doesn't matter. Can't say it that matter, these days. You know? Doesn't, that doesn't matter. Um, those calorie calculators were male or female and just delete them. Yeah, delete them. Like they never happened. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, you, <laughs> they might want different different goals, right? They might have different time frames. They might be further from that from that goal. They might have different uh, work uh, stresses, time constraints. They might have different family life. Um. And all of the, the, the people that uh, hate on, you know, um, I guess bro bodybuilder coaches that plug every, you know, hundreds of clients into the same um, meal plan and go, well, that's not going to work for this type of client or that type of client or this type of client. And you are correct. It will not work for that type of client. But yet they'll still get 30, 40, 50 results if you're coaching hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay, because for the people that it does work for, it will hit, right? And it, the question is, is why is people not looking at the business in the same way, like, because everybody is different. So I'm assuming that your client that you're talking about maybe is like, uh, goes after like ex slimming club type thing, females, maybe, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't right. But let's just say your demographic is ex slimming club clubbers, ex slimming. I can say, I can say the word, can I? Yeah. Yeah. Slim, slimming world. Yeah. There you go. We're not going to get sued for that, are we? No, no. I'm not saying anything bad about slimming world. Well, we could, <laughs> you know, the list as long as my arm. But, yeah, <laughs> that. That's what, <laughs> That's what we know. get cut out, yeah. Um, no, like, if your demographic was that, and you went into a business mentorship, um, and they were said, right, you need to charge a £1,000 for three months coaching, think of the demographic that you're going after. You're going after people who have gone after almost the lowest common denominator. They've gone after the £10 a week yep. deal. They're, you know, typically um, female, potentially middle-aged mothers who are not looking for bespoke one-to-one -one coaching around, you know, banding your fucking lifts and so on and so forth. So you've got it's got to be niche specific and demographic specific. So that price point would need to come down, and that price point might be, or or that that coaching might be better suited to a group style format. Like, and you think about that those types of things, and then vice versa, you go all the way up to the bodybuilder style thing. And I've seen bodybuilders try to run group coaching. You go, well, no, that's not the right thing for them either, because bodybuilders don't want group coaching. Like, I, I, I've seen, I literally, I've seen bodybuilders team up and do, oh, we're going to do some group coaching. That will flop. Mm -hmm. You've got to think of what's right for the demographic that you're going after. And this is where the mentorships are wrong, because it's just 
a blueprint. It's just the system. That's the way it goes. And if you are not in line with that, then you're fucked, basically. You're, it's not going to work for you. So you are going to be proverbially, proverbially, one of the the clients who goes to the bodybuilder bro coach and the, the meal plan doesn't work for because you've got a life. Let's just say. That's what's going to happen. So, you know, you get a mentorship with four, five, six hundred people in or whatever, you're going to get 20, 30, 40 results. Of course you are. Right? Of course you are. Because for some people, it will hit that right on the nail. That's exactly what's right. Whereas what should happen is you get assessed, see where your business is at, see who, who you're marketing to, see how you're marketing to them, see what you d- deliver, see what you don't deliver, see what you should be delivering, and then see how you should be marketing to them, how you should engage with people. Um, and your business coaching should go from there as opposed to, like, it's just nonsensical in my mind. I know that we wouldn't go... To, if you think about it like this, right, if, if, if you think about, let's just take yourself out of the equation and go a, a few steps up, right? And let's just say you're earning, um, let's just say you're earning half a million pounds a year. And the and you're earning half a million pounds a year and you want some business mentoring advice. Do you think you would go with somebody that plugged you into something that was plug and play or would you want to go and speak to a real human and get their input on your business that you've worked hard to build? That's probably the way that you would go with it. You would probably want someone to look at your business and give you advice in relation to your business. So it makes no difference that you're not earning half a million. It, it, it still stands to reason that that's what you should be having. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, no, you're right. Like, that's it's, the first time I've said that. It is the first time I've said that. I was quite taken aback by it, mate, it makes sense. It, Some people it, it don't value sense. themselves, do they? They just don't value what they're doing. They don't value their business and, yeah. and their time. And I, I just, um, it, it just, like I said, just struck a chord in me because it made me realize just how much of this industry is built on oh well so and so did this and they did really well okay that's great because that for that point in time that was right for so and so but it may not be right for you and it may took me back to i had a consultation call the other the other week with someone what for one-to-one coaching for our one-to-one bespoke coaching yeah yeah that, well, yeah every week every week <laughs> every week is yeah. and uh and he was with a current mentor um that he wasn't particularly happy with shock horror and he was basically told to remove posts from his from his feed and i was like <laughs> I wouldn't ever tell someone to remove a post. Like, sure, feed. You do what you want. Like, you know. And he basically... And it was funny because the post was... It was um, a personal post and it was quite funny. It was like... Co- it was comedic rather than providing loads of value. Whatever. Yeah. He was told to take it down because you shouldn't be posting that. <laughs> and I was like, that's weird because I'd be telling you to post exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. But it was just funny because it made me realize it's like... It, it just shows that a lot of these mentorships and stuff want the... They want their client stuff to look a certain way. So that may, maybe for their own ego or their own thing, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like, I would never tell someone to delete a post from their Instagram because it wasn't what I thought was the right thing. It's like, well, only you, you know better than me what you need for your niche. I don't know. I can give you guidance. I can tell you what I think, but you have to come up with the ideas and you have to post the content. So I'm not going to get involved in it. But when he was told to, to, to delete it, it's mental. That is ridiculous. It's and that mental. just shows you that some people just want this very much blueprinted. It has to be done this way. Otherwise, it's my way or the highway. That's not how it should work. I um, I actually told one of my clients uh, who she really panics over her content and overthinks it. And she's saying like she gets into almost like a, yeah, like a negative headspace around posting um, and it prevents her from posting. And I said, I want you to go away and just use your color. She has a she has a color like a pastel color, mm. and I was like, just write one word in the middle of it. I was like, just just write breathe, right, and then just write the caption, and I'll just just say you can do it. I was like, that is not gonna entice anybody into coaching. There's no agenda to that. And I was like, and the point of me asking you to do that is to show you that nothing bad's gonna happen if you make a post that doesn't go viral, that doesn't have loads of likes. Like, but I just want you to remember that when you do look at your page of what I've just said to you. And you will know what that post means, whether nobody else does. Mm. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't take anything away from your from your feed. Every post doesn't need to be in line with everything else. Like it's like okay, like the the, the lifespan has gone of it. Like do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, we should be posting content that is niche related, this, that, and the other, or whatever. And the, and this guy sounds like he has. If he's done a personal post, it's yeah. quite funny. That that is because it's it's humour, mm. which is going to help build like uh, let's say in the no like and trust. But it's like, it's one of those things where, again, it's just this, it's, ju- it's just this like, 
system, this like factory style system of this is how it has to be it's, done. It's just so narrow. It's like the, the, the thought process is just so, it's just, for me, it's like, how is this going to help this person create a business for the long term? Because when they don't then have that blueprint, or they don't have your system, what are they going to do? Well, like You want them to be in a position where they learn the principles, they understand why things have worked, why they haven't worked, and you want them to be able to create their own blueprint, their own way of doing things, their own way of working, their own things that they like doing or don't like doing. And that's what this is all about. Like What we try and do and help people with is that they create something that in the long term they can see themselves doing. Well, Suk said this the other day, didn't he? On his, um, he made a post. He was like, I've seen people have success charging up front and charging mm. monthly. I've seen people have success doing group coaching, doing one-to-one. -one. And that's correct. Because, and again, you'll never hear us say that anything is is wrong, exp like explicitly. So be wary of those that do. Like, be wary of those that do say that it's wrong because there's probably a hidden agenda to why they want you to do something. Like, there is no right or wrong. Like, if you are working with the loaded people that want to pay up front call charge up front like again there's there's merit in that if you're working with ex slimming welders it's gonna to have to be a lower price point and it could be group coaching like but to blanket how people do you shouldn't be doing this you need to do this is incorrect in my opinion like it's 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 just incorrect i get the sometimes i get some of the merit where it's like just focus on one-to-one -one. Um, and do it well to a certain, like uh, until you're at a certain point. I agree. I agree with that, but I don't think it's just focus on one to one until you're at a certain point. It's focus on the th the main thing that yeah. you're offering, yeah, and do it well to till you're at a certain yeah, point. Yeah, because we also know people who are doing just group coaching but doing it really really well. Yeah, yeah, and we yeah, would well, say don't do one to one. We say just focus on that. Yeah, Melissa. Yeah. yeah. So we are we um, were working with a uh, I get a, a com company because yeah, a couple of them now yeah. Mm -hmm who just offered group coaching because it was um, predominantly aimed at w women who wanted to do group coaching. And she didn't have a one-to-one -one offering. And she was consistently selling. I didn't want to either. That was the and thing. I didn't want to. Like, and it was, she, she was doing over, it way, she's yeah. doing over 100, 100 people per intake each time, every time, without fail. Mm -hmm. Like, and But that's not the traditional way that people do it. And it, it's just, it's it's wrong of people, and again, don't don't get this twisted. That all of the business mentors that are out there, they were just coaches. Like they were just coaches. They've just decided to call themselves business mentors now. Mm -hmm. Like these are not. This is we're not talking to Warren Buffett here. Like these are just coaches that have now put themselves here and gone. I can help you with your business, and it's just their opinion. It's their opinion on, of what you should be doing, which makes it even weirder when they're doing things that now that are opposite to what they said to do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, but, and, and that's the thing is that when they were coaches, they might not necessarily be in charge up front. They might be charging monthly. Like they might not have had an offer. They might have been doing things very differently, but yet now that they're mentors, they're telling you to do something different because they've been told to do that by someone who's mentored them. They've been told that you need to do this and you need to charge that and then show their Stripe screenshots because they've made a big amount in one month. But then what happens after that? It doesn't matter. Well, surely if you're doing a business mentor properly, you would just teach people how you've done it and you go through how exactly. you've done it to get what you've got. Exactly. That's what people would want to know. And that's you the think, thing. Wouldn't you? you would think, yeah. Mm. But um, but yeah, and that's a, that's a tragedy. And that's a tragedy. But yeah, like that's that's the thing is, like it's is I think the key thing here is ask yourself the question, are you following someone else's blueprint or are you trying to create your own? And I think that if you're working with someone on this stuff, it doesn't have to be us, if you do want weekly one-to-one -one check ins with Not us. Every week. Uh, every week. Every week. Every week. Yeah, yeah. No, don't get that don't get that confused. That mate. could be a little catchphrase. <laughs> every, week. every week. Every week. Every week. Don't like catchphrases. I just think they're a bit too broad. Yeah. You know? yeah. Is um, it a laugh? Yeah, is it yeah. a laugh? Hopefully people get that. <laughs> Not my demographic. Yeah. So yeah. um but yeah, ask yourself that question with the person you're working with. Are they putting you through their blueprint that they've got that they designed? Or are they working with you? to develop your own blueprint? And have they asked you some of the questions that we've just asked? Have they asked you about your your niche and the price point and if you want to do upfront, if you want to do month to month, if you want to do sales calls, if you don't want to do sales, have they asked you these questions in your business and like how does it line up and how does it work? Because you should be doing stuff realistically now that you can see yourself doing in the next few years to come, not something that's a hack that you can do for two months to get some mm -hmm. money through and then change everything. Like That's not how it should work. Mm -hmm. You should be doing stuff now that you can see yourself in six, 12 months going, well, that's how I want to run my business. That's how I want things to go. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we do, is we help people with that. 
We've just, in fact, just to kind of back that up as well, we've, we've just had a client in who earns a lot of money, a, a lot of money. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to say how much he earns because it's not my place to say, unlike other people that do. Just shout bars. But anyway, he doesn't do sales calls and it, it hasn't harmed his business at all. Now, we do sales calls and we have always done sales calls and we help people with their sales calls. And for the vast majority, would probably recommend. And for the vast it. majority, would recommend. Yeah. But you get a client come in, and he's doing a, a great amount of numbers, and he doesn't do sales calls, and then you look at the clicks and so on and so forth. And he also says he doesn't like doing. And sales he doesn't calls. like doing sales calls. Now, you wouldn't get the guy to do sales calls mm -hmm. because why would you? Like, he's got a decent. Um, he's got a decent. Uh, that process going right could it be tweaked and refined and yeah and is there ways that we can move some of the people that don't go through to, to coaching onto an email list or whatever i'm not going to go into all that stuff but my point being is that other men mentors would have him fit this mold and this blueprint well they, they did they tried he worked they did before. they tried yeah. yeah worked with two before two, where we two there you go where we two before whereas we can look uh, and this it sounds like it's like we're justifying what we do, but it's not what what you would need is somebody or even yourself to look at what you're doing, and and tweak things for the better. If something isn't broke, don't fix it. The guy doesn't need to do sales calls, so so don't do it. And again, it's the same as we had a we had a consultation with a with a mentor, didn't we? And we were doing good numbers at the at the time and had proved that what we were doing. We're going back what three years? Mm -mm. Probably going back three years now, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. Because I was in it was before uh, COVID, wasn't it? Yeah, it was before COVID. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and he was like, "You have to charge up front." What did he say? Like two grand, two two grand or two and a half grand? It was two grand over three months. He said. Yeah, he was like, "You have to do that, otherwise your business won't grow. Your business won't grow. Your business won't grow. Business won't grow. You have to." But he wasn't understanding what we were saying back. It's almost like he was treating us like we weren't at any kind of level. As though it's just this script that he was that he had that everybody has to conform to this blueprint, and I assume that if any of you guys watching this have been on calls with mentors, it probably feels like that as well. Is that you're going to be plugged into something that is like that? And we were like, no, 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 we don't charge up front, and we're not going to charge up front, and it's not harmed our business at all. We've probably what I know that in terms of income. We, it's not. It's not. It's not harmed our business. Like, well, since then we what three three times, tripled, Mo our own individual three times. But I think if you took the company into account as well, four times monthly revenue from that point. And we were doing. And we were doing all right then when we got on a, on a call with him. Um, and it's just but all right. I mean, you know, we we could get a pack of crisps if we wanted one. Exactly. I mean, just about worrying about yeah, it with the cost of multi pack. You know, it we, was could, as well. we could fill up a tank uh, of, of petrol in a car. Well, not a big car. Once a month. Yeah. You know, not a big know, car. You so. know. Um, but um, but it, it's just the it's just the fact that it was like you will never grow. You will never grow. You'll never grow without doing this. And it's just like, oh, but you don't know anything. But yeah, we will. yeah. It was just the fact there was no questions asked. About if sort of he'd stuff, have you know? gone. Okay, no, that looks really good. Like usually, I would ask people to charge it from, but actually, the system that you've got is quite good because you're retaining clients quite long. He wasn't that smart, though, was he? No, no, no. He wasn't smart enough to do that. He was reading yeah. off that script. He was reading off the script. Yeah. So, funny. so you're like, how are you not seeing this? How how are you not judging it? Where but is he now? I've not seen his name for a while, actually. Don't know. I don't know. We should look at, after this video. We'll have a little look. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to post anyway, it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, there you go. That's that's the video. So the point of the video is is what, what was the point? The point was we like, have live one to one video. That's, it. <laughs> that's the point. Now the point is is that don't just try to fit into what you think that you should be doing or what you're told that you should be doing by somebody who's plugging you into something that yeah. is just generic. You know, don't be afraid of training up your staff to be better than you because there's you know Always someone else someone that can do come the in job and better than you. Do the job better than you. Is that? That's it. It's an office quote. Uh, again. But yeah, no, in all seriousness, like it, it, it's important, I think, when you're doing this. It's, it's hard enough to do this on your own as it is, but it should be something that you do have an input in, you do have a say in, you do enjoy doing it, you do look forward to doing it. And, and there are some principles that you probably could stick to and still grow a business. I think the people, um, you know, some of the biggest entrepreneurs in the world always say, like, you know, it all started from a crazy idea and they're all told by people that you're an idiot and you're stupid, it'll never work. And a lot of them go on to do huge things. So, not saying that's you, probably not, probably not you, to be honest, <laughs> just to kill your dreams. Yeah. But, but no, like it just cause, just cause some people say that you can't do it that way or you shouldn't do it that way. doesn't mean it can't be done is mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. And you know, we're the sort of people who will say to you, look, you know, keep the dream alive. 
So, yeah, yeah. And when it doesn't, <laughs> and when it doesn't work out, come back yeah. to us. We'll yeah. help you. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that video, and uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>